Okay, so this is my desk on a good day. Um, and no, those are not Pringles. <laughs> and usually what I do is I just move everything out of the way, take away all the glitter and stuff that's on the desk. Oh, you can still see that. Shall so shove it. Oh. <laughs> Making sure I don't knock anything off the desk. These are still in view. All right, I think we're pretty good. So I just wanted to share a um, flip book that's going to be going out in the mail either today or tomorrow, depending if I can get out there. And this is not, this is just a, a piece. It's the person's name is underneath, and so I just didn't want them to see it yet. Um, and so I came up with a new style. What I was trying to do is fit the, um, the flip book inside. I think this is a six, hang on, let me double check. Yeah, it's a six by nine, uh, clasp envelope. So what I was trying to do is make it thinner and so it would travel in the mail. So... For example, I have this one, and it's small. You can see it's, whoops. Okay, it's not quite half, but it's smaller than this one. And so it's pretty thin. And I'll, I'll go ahead and do a flip on this one. Um, it wasn't for anyone in particular. I just made it. And then these two have um, little goodies inside of them. So now I was going to give it away, but um, I think I'm going to keep this one for inspiration. Um, the other day I went to go do flip books and I had kind of stopped and I was working on my journaling stuff. And for whatever reason, I felt like I couldn't do it. And I was looking on Pinterest for ideas and stuff. And I just felt like, oh my gosh, I have no idea how to make a flip book. And then I came across this one and a couple others that I had made that hadn't gone out in the mail yet and I thought okay I do know how to do it so I'm going to keep it I think at the top of my desk here for some inspiration. But anyways back to this flip book what I wanted to do is see if I could come up with a method that would be a little bit easier for shipping. Um, what I've been told at the post office is that if you put it in a larger envelope and it's flatter then it doesn't count as a package. If you put it in a smaller envelope and it's the thicker it is, then it counts as a package. And so I was trying to avoid that. Um, but as you see here, I made it pretty chunky. So um, <laughs> it kind of defeats the point there. But um, I did a little pocket. And if you if you guys like this, maybe I'll do a video um, on how to make it. And I wanted to say one thing really quick, get it out of the way. But I'm constantly, when I do these videos, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll uh, link it down below, or I will make a video for it. The reality of it is, I have no idea what I've said by the time I'm done with the video and upload it and everything else. I totally forget what I was going to do, so I apologize, and if there's something that I said that I was going to do and you want to see, just comment below and I'll try to get to it. Thanks. Okay. So those are the tags that came out and this is my little letter and I just did on on a tag I did my favorites and so I just picked some things that I liked. So um, for my TV show I said the Mindy Project, she's hilarious. Um, for music I love alternative indies and 80s. Um, all, anyone who knows me personally knows I love Cuban food. Um, my favorite stores are Tuesday Morning and TJ Maxx or maybe even Marshall's. Um, my favorite drink is Coke. Unfortunately, I try to keep giving it up and then it finds me. Um, and then things that I love. I love Christmas, dessert, paper crafting, my family, stacking bracelets, traveling, tennis, and Jesus, of course. And I put him last because he's the most important. And then I made these three tags. And in the back here, I use the Distress Stain. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. <laughs> the uh, Picked Raspberry Distressing. And I didn't go all the way down because you can kind of see here there's none. I, I kind of put this down and I marked it with a pencil where kind of where it was. And then I just went through and swabbed it. And 
the color is really pretty. Now the color, this is a manila colored tag. It's actually, what I did was when I made the flip book, I had extra pieces of paper left over and I was looking at them and I said, you know, those would make perfect tags. And so that's what I did is I, I made my own tags with them. And um, the, what's it called? The distress stain actually shows up differently here than it would on white. So I just wanted to let you know that. But And then I just um, hand wrote love. And this one I layered a doily with some a little stamped out circle, a little hexagon. I think that's a hexagon. One, two, three, four, six. I don't know. What is this? I don't know. I should know this. Anyways, do you guys, any of you that film videos, when you're filming, it's like your brain does not want to work, right? And this says always dream. And um, this one I uh, hand wrote out, joy, joy. Okay, so that will go in the front pocket. Then when you open it up, um, I have this. So the my thought behind this flip book was that I wanted to use my favorite color combo, which is black and white and then hot pink and red. And I think I, I did a pretty good job of it. And I like that I have the, um, the manila behind it because it kind of balances out the, the red and stuff. So here I just punched um, out of some hot pink and gold paper. I punched a hole and then this was some deli tape paper. And I don't know if I've ever showed my deli paper or not, but I got it from, um, what is this? It's like, um, it's like a restaurant supply store. Good food services? I don't know. I don't know why it's called. But my father-in-law had given them these to us with like little baskets so that we could make picnics, but we never really used them. And um, I was watching, I think it's Susie Dennison, he, or Dennis maybe, on YouTube, and she makes um, collages with these. She paints on it, or she uses it underneath. So what I do is when I'm painting something, I put this underneath and it grabs the paint. Or sometimes I'll actually put my paint, if I'm using like acrylics, I'll take out a sheet and there's a shiny side and then there's a um, dull side and I'll put my paint on it and then it leaves, you know, like paint smears and then you can use that in your journals. And it's so pretty. So that's what I did. Excuse me. That's what I did here. It's using some gold. And then I added a let's party, a little gold flag, some gold um, thread and a little label behind. And then on this page, I took, all right, I have to put this down. I took a paper clip, it's just a giant paper clip that I um, showed in that haul video. And then I just put some of this um, seam binding tape. And then on this one, I took the, the distress stain and distressed it. And then some, oh, Gosh, what's this called? It's like twine or something. I don't know. Anyways, and it is actually holding up this little embellishment that says cheeky and it's Heidi Swap. And then inside here is just some journaling cards. And I might not be able to get it back on. You know, these little paper clips are so cute, but they're hard to put together. So I'll put it back together when I'm done. And then this flips up. Oops, that paper clip was holding this in place. And it's a um, little bag that I made, again, using the deli paper. And can you see inside it all? It's got some goodies in there. We've got some, some um, like a little bag of confetti and some die cuts and some wood veneers. And that's in here. And I just sewed it up really easy and then stapled on more of the seam binding. And then on this pocket, um, I'll pull these out for you if you want to see. They're just some little um, embellishments that I made that I'm um, gifting. And this one says smooch, which is a verb, a kiss, smack. I don't remember where I got those, but they're really cute. Here's a little die cut that says hello. Okay, let's try this again. A little die cut that says thirsty, little squirt, birthday rush, fun is ahead, 
a little vellum uh, like journal card. This one I made, I just um, added a die cut that I cut out with my silhouette and then used my labeler. And it says, so sweet. And this is another Allie Brown um, recommendation, the labeler, and it, <laughs> I have to say, I hadn't used one of these in years, and so when I went to go use it, I spelled everything wrong because I didn't realize how to line up the letters. Anyways, it's very easy. Um, here's another one that I made using a silo two silhouette die cuts. The doily, oh, I think this is actually in my video, the, the doily video. And then this one, it says State Farm. It's like a little ticket, like, for t it's not a State Farm, State Fair. And then those go inside there. And then this just has the, oh, and I apologize, I lied about this. This is actually the Heidi Swap Color Shine, and I can't, oh, there it is. It's in pink. And this was the one, and I'm going to have to put this down, but this is the picked raspberry. And I don't know if you can see. Let me try to bring it up higher. The color is gorgeous. You can see the difference between the two. This is a beautiful color. And then here I took a safety pin and I just attached some ribbons to it. And then I um, die cut the word... Am I even in screen here? I die cut the word love with my silhouette and attach that. And then I made a little um, acetate, um, little, I tipped it in so that she could take it out and put it in her planner or in her journal or whatever. And then I just, let's see if it shows up better like this. It's just a star and it says shine. So. And then I think that's it. And then at the back, I left it pretty um, simple. And since I had that um, safety pin in the back, I attached a little tag that I just made. I just hole punched this with a circle hole punch. And then um, I took this idea from Jody, which um, if you caught the last, I, I don't know if it's the video before it, like two before this one that was um, Happy Mail. And she gave me the idea of, she had written on the back of hers, it said made with love. So I did the same thing. So it says made for love, <laughs> try that again. Made with love for blank from Ingrid. And then a little heart. And I thought that's really cute and it like dangles like that. Can you kind of see the dingle? <laughs> anyway, oh no, you saw the name. I'm gonna have to cut that out. Okay, so let's get this. I'll just fast forward that part. Anyways, that is my flip book. Thanks for watching. And again, thank you all for taking the time. I know there's other things you could be doing. I hope that I can um, give you any kind of inspiration to just go out and, and craft and do, you know, what makes you happy. And don't worry about if yours isn't good enough or you think yours isn't good enough because it probably is. And sometimes we just have to let go of that and just create. So I hope to inspire you to do that and I will see you back soon. Thanks again.